for today's loft visit, we've come to Berkshire to visit the Poe National winning lofts of George Burgess of Raysbury. Well George, thanks very much for inviting me around today. It's not the greatest day, is it, weather-wise? It's been snowing all night. It certainly is not. That's your Poe National winner, is it? That is, yes. He won the Poe National in 1988. Yeah. Um, on what? the day of liberation, early morning liberation, yeah. on the day. Yeah, what time was he liberated? At 6.15. Yeah, what time did you crack her? At 7.20. Yeah, terrific thrill on it on the day. 42 miles an hour approximately. Yeah. 12.44 velocity. Yeah, lovely end, mate. She's a cracking pigeon, George. Has she got a name? Rosemead Abigail. Yeah, what family of pigeons is she? She's half Peter Titmus, quarter Venna, and a quarter Fear Brothers of Clandam. Yeah, so she's got the best lines in her, mate. She has. Has she bred anything for you? Yes, she's bred several pigeons to fly and score from Poe. And this year alone, one of her grandsons was first club, first fed, third Lancashire combine, Niall, 530 miles on the day. This is the scene inside one of George's old bird section. Do you fly it all natural, George? No, I fly mostly natural. Yeah. But yeah. I do have a dabble in Widowhood and Roundabout. Yeah. Which the other two lofts I'll show yeah. you later on. Do you do you have the like, natural pigeons for the distance? Yes, mostly. Yeah. But the po the um, Widowwood pigeons go the distance as well. Yeah. So. When do you about, sorry. When do you pair your natural pigeons up? About the middle of March. Yeah. How about your Widowwood pigeons? Widowwood pigeons beginning of February. Yeah. What sort of racing do you like? Then? Do you like long distance or do you like all all, all, all races? Well, mace, mostly long distance now because, uh, well, getting too old for the short distances. This is Rosemead Anne. This is a full sister to my Poe National winner. And she's been to Poe five times. She was first Section E, third Open Poe, on a two-day race in 1987. And she was also 30th Open Poe behind her sister in 1988. She was 170th Open Poe in 1990. Brilliant pigeon, mate, isn't she? Brilliant. These hens, are they both natural, by the way? Both natural. Both yeah. natural. Both right? natural. Yeah. What, what sort of nest, nest conditions do they like? This poe? hen, Rosemead Ann, she always flew, or the, her best positions were to a four or five day old baby. Yeah. How about the Poe in there? Um, Poe National winner, she flew to 12 day old eggs. Yeah. But brilliant pigeons, mate, hey, brilliant. Another smashing in, George. She's at stock now, has she bred anything for you? She has, she's bred several pigeons to fly and score from Poe, and her grandchildren, and her great grandchildren. Yeah. In fact, the hen I got this year from Poe was her great granddaughter. Lovely pigeon, mate. Good, honest pigeons, mate, aren't they? They are. How long have you been in the sport then, George? Coming up for 50 years now. Yeah, because years ago, you was a great force in the West Mill sex fed, weren't you, years ago? Well, I hope, I'm glad to say, yes, I was. I think yeah. I was, anyway, yeah. yeah. And what families of pigeons have you got? Now, I've got titmus pigeons, partly my old family, of the old white M family, uh, Fear Brothers, and Mr and Mrs Venner of... Um, Mr and Mrs Venner pigeons. But I've, other than that, I've got other pigeons that I've brought in recently. Yeah. From some of the good best pigeons in the country. But they're all long, mostly long distance. Well, like, they're all long distance pigeons, actually. Yeah, so you like channel racing best, do you? Yes. Because I say years ago in the West Middlesex, they used to wipe them up inland and everything, didn't you, years ago? Well, yeah, I did win the young bird average outright in the West Middlesex Fed. Yeah, great so flying mate. Feet. Yeah. This is George, very smart widowed loft. How many cocks are you keeping in, in George? Twelve. I'll see you trap through the Sputnik traps. And you say your widowed cocks fly the program? They do, they go to par as well. Yeah. How about rearing? Do you let them all rear a baby I each? I let them rear one baby each. 
but that's a little bit lighter than normal riddle with people do. Yeah, because you say you want to send them through to the distance, don't yeah. you? This is my purpin on the hen, Rosemead Lucy. She's thrown purpin on 627 miles four times and been in the result every time. In fact, last year she was second open purpin on, only three home in the country on the day. Brilliant pigeon, mate. And she was also 19th British section BICC PO. She's also flown PO five times. Brilliant pigeon, mate, isn't she? One of that. She also flew Dax in the London South East Classic. Another class hen, George. She is. Beautiful pigeon. Is she bred anything for you yet? Well, not, not, not at the moment, but we're hoping for big things in our own future, as now she's stopped now. Yeah. She's always been racing up to last year. But she's been a fantastic racer, mate, isn't she? She has. Brilliant yeah. end, mate. She's bred by Kenny Irons. Yeah. And she's closely related to me two poems. Yeah, as her grandfather is the double grand is the full brother to the double grandfather of me two poems. Great family, mate. This is George's young birth section. How many babies did you breed each year, George? Quite a lot. About eighty. Yeah. Do you like to, the, the, your babies to fly the programme? No, I don't. How about, a... how about channel racing for your babies? No, I'm not very keen on channel racing for babies either. Yeah. <laughs> how about training your babies? When do you start your babies training? I start them about a month before the first Yumbert race. And most of my babies have about three or four races and I'll stop them then. Yeah, just educate them like Yeah. Incidentally, these are your hens, they're not babies, are they? No, these are not babies, no, these are my hens. This is Rosemead Lucy. She was my first pigeon this year, 70th Open Po. Beautiful pigeon, isn't she? And she won the cup for first pigeon in the Berkshire from the, in the National Flying Club. Yeah. Last year she was 56 Open Po, and she's only been to Po twice, because she's only three year old now. Yeah, lovely. Um, is she related to the other hens? She's related through Peter Titmus's pigeon, yes. Yeah, she's a beautiful pigeon, isn't she? This is George's main racing off for his natural pigeons. In fact, George, it looks a bit like a Christmas card with a snow all over it. It does. We've it? only got two weeks to Christmas. Uh, is it self built? No, I had the main loft built and I had the corridor put on a couple of years ago. Yeah, so you actually trapped into the corridor, do you? Yeah. How about the late ones? They go into the Sputniks. They go through the well. They mostly go through the Sputniks anyway. But I have them wide open on race day, so they okay. go. Right, George. We'll sign off on this lovely mealy cock. What's this one? This was bred by Peter Titmus of Wheat Hampstead, and he was full, he's flown Po four times. He was 49th Open Po in 1993, and 305th Open Po this year. 1995. He's another brilliant pigeon, mate. Isn't he? All right, George. Thanks very much for having me around today. It's been a great, great pleasure. Well, it's a pleasure, Adam.